I will show you how to fix this problem, okay? So we will give the explanation why it happens and what will be the last resort to fix this issue. Hi guys, what's up and welcome to my vlog. It's Tutor Great here and today I'll be showing you how to fix a problem like this. Alright, so our computer is a complex device. It works on accepting data, processing the data, and producing output for those particular data. Okay, so there are hardware which are responsible in working those different tasks. Let's take an example of this one. Alright, so this is a random access memory. So it works something like a kitchen table where the tasks are placed on top of it and these tasks or these programs occupy space. So in the case of this problem in this computer, it seems that there are no more spaces to run other programs. So it happens because the memory or the space or the spaces have already been occupied by programs. It could be the system programs or it could be occupied by other programs, uh, especially those unwanted programs just like the malware or the viruses. So just like the kitchen table, when all the spaces on top of the kitchen table are occupied, then you could not do something else because you could not put another um, program or task or something on the table which has already been occupied. So I will show you how to fix this problem, okay? So we will give the explanation why it happens and what will be the last resort to fix this issue. So stay tuned and by the way, if this is your first time to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated for the next videos that we'll have in the future. And if you do have any requests regarding troubleshooting, would that be in computer or printer, please feel free to raise that comment down below to for us to be able to see and what we can do for that so we can make another video or content for that in the future. Alright, so stay tuned and let's watch this. This laptop runs with a Windows 7 operating system and it could no longer run other programs due to memory space shortage. Since there are no important files saved in this device, reformatting is the best solution. To start with, we need a Windows 7 operating system installer which can be saved in an optical disk or a flash drive. Now, we need to insert this DVD in a DVD drive of this device. Make sure that it is properly seated Now, let's restart this device. And let us access its BIOS by pressing F2 or Delete during startup. This is a typical BIOS environment we can see in most personal computers. From this point, we need to find boot priority and it could be found under the boot menu. Now, we should set the DVD drive as the first priority option because it is where the operating system software installer is located. Just follow the instructions on how to make changes on BIOS settings. Once done, save changes and exit. Once the computer starts up, you will be prompted to press any key to boot from CD or DVD and you should follow it so that the operating system installer will boot up. Just follow the prompt and wait for the operating system installer to run.
At this point, you can read the license terms and agree on them by clicking the checkbox to confirm that you agree with those license terms. Now, select Custom to have an option to format the hard drive partition where to install the fresh operating system. Now, click Next and wait for the operating system to be completely installed. Once done, the computer will restart and you will be prompted again to press any key to boot from CD or DVD. At this point, ignore that prompt so that the device will boot from its hard drive where the fresh operating system has just been installed. Once it successfully started, just follow the succeeding prompts and provide the information needed to complete the setup of your new operating system. Congratulations! You have a freshly installed operating system free from any viruses and errors. You can continue installing the required drivers of your computer hardware through Device Manager or using Windows Update. So thank you very much for your patience and for watching this tutorial for you to be able to understand why it happens or in sometimes or there are times that our computer runs out of memory. So uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to share it to your friends or to anyone who needs this one or hit that like button and don't forget to put your thumbs up below. So it's yours truly right here. Chuturko always saying stay safe and have a great day and happy, happy every day. Okay.